Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. My name is Tomo and I have been asked to do this all seasons rubbish from one of the worst F1 YouTubers out there. Anyway, welcome to F1 23 where once again the hookster will be starting at the back of the grid in a rubbish car, but can he come out on top? Well, we all know the hookster is not a patch on the eight times world champion Sir Lewis Hamilton. So don't forget to watch me on my channel. I like pink, but I am still a real man anyway. I am off now to gain more subs and lots of that lovely YouTube money and have the ladies fall at my feet. And what do they do when they see the hookster? Laugh at how pathetic this sad little man is with less than 2,000 subs and looks about 80 years old. I am not 80 years old. I'm the same age as Jason Statham. And anyway, we all know you're not really from London. You're from Essex, so shut up, shut up. Hello everyone and welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 23. Yes, we are back again in our little potato car. Yes, it's the Alfa Romeo and it's off to Monza for the next Grand Prix. Wowzers. Anyway, it's time to complete our supercar. It's the marvel of the age. Supercar. We get bronze in our fa 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 Ferrari. fa 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 Ferrari Roma. And just looking now at our Alpha Tori test, which of course we had at the start of the season. And as you can see, they have put one part of development on their car at the moment, and that's it. That's it. Where are all those other 20,000 points going? I don't know. I don't bloody well know. Super models and lots of bloody cocaine parties, I expect, but they're not going on the bloody car, are they? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, practice has been completed, as you can see, some more lovely resource points. 1,691 and more development points have been applied to the Red Devils, the Engine Power and the DRS. Wowzers. Me trousers. <laughs> So here we are at Monza, one of the beloved circuits of the Hookster. And it's time now to go around his favourite corner, even though I do believe they've renamed it. It's time for Parabolica, because it sounds so bloody rude. So bloody rude, and I love it. Yes, I bloody well love it. And we cross like the moment, we're in seventh place. Oh my goodness, two and a half seconds behind as so we accelerate forward now to a little bit later qualifying. You can see, we are, we're, 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 in, we're in last, we're, and we haven't improved the delta time either. Oh! Anyway, we accelerate forward now to just 28 seconds left to go. We're still in last place. We're still in, but we are up on the deltas. But it's just, it's just a few tenths. It's just a few tenths. But can we beat Yuki Sonoda? As we're about to cross. Uh, yes, we've done it. Yes, I can't believe it. Yes, of course, our old team, and we've beaten them. We've bested the Yuki. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. Anyway, as I said that, unfortunately, Yuki has overtaken us. And we cross the line, and it's last. It's bloody last place, I don't believe it. Last place at Monza. And Lulu, Sir Lewis Hamilton got pole position. Maxi Boy got second place. We got last, and Valtteri Bottas got 14th position. Okay then, let's do this. Monza, the oldest circuit on the calendar, which hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. Today we look forward to the Italian Grand Prix. Monza, northeast of Milan, some of the most iconic turns in all of racing. The chicane at turn one and two, the Variante Ascari at turns eight, nine and ten, and the Parabolica to conclude things at turn 11. We are full throttle for 80% of the lap. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Leclerc, Russell, Perez, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Ocon, Stroll, Bottas, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Sargent, Joe, Sonoda, Hollywood, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And with preparations almost complete, Let's head down to the track. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again. 
to offer his perspective. Let's talk about Hollywood. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the all seasons. Kalia Mola, we say go, go, go. And it's away we go from last of the grid. Look, there's our old team. It's Yuki Zona. We get past. We've got Guan Yu Joe, of course, in the other car. We get past him as well. We've got Logan's Primus. We've got Banks. And we're going to see if we can sneak down inside into turn one. We do a little bit of grass cutting, a little bit of grass cutting, but we do manage to get past a huge amount of cars. I think we got past Charles Leclerc as well. Have we? Yes. There's a McLaren. Oh, we're free abreast, though. We are free abreast going into this next turn. Oh, my goodness. But we've done it everyone yes up into seventh position from last place on the grid it's another fantastic performance from the guy that never gives up and he never surrenders don't you know don't you know so the car ahead of us now i think is the ferrari of carlos Sainz. yes it is we're in seventh position jordan and russell's in fifth place at the moment and behind us we have charles leclerc so we're in the middle of a fa -fa 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 ferrari sandwich and behind the clerk we have fernando Alonso and look at this Charlie Boy Leclerc's going for a move already already we've got no DRS of course so he's just going for the pure power in that Ferrari car tries to get past but we managed to hold off as we go into this very tight chicane just managed off to hold uh, Charles Leclerc he's got Piastri now behind him as you can see but we hold on to this magnificent seventh place as we're about to go through Parabolica for the first time in this Grand Prix it's a 19 lap Grand Prix and Carlos Sainz is uh, still in sixth place just ahead of us as you can see fastest lap goes to Lulu Lulu gets it but Wales has me trousers look at the cars behind they're really pushing already we've got Oscar's pastry now Oscar Jack pastry is trying to get past us but we manage to hold him off as we go into lap two as we accelerate forward now still lap two and as you can see Piastri and Leclerc have both got past us but we allowed them to go through because we know we're going to get the DRS now as we go into lap three or are we though I don't think we are yet because they're just going to be activated but anyway we're going to give it all the beans all the full beans yes DRS has now been enabled but we haven't got it yet of course and let's see if we can go dive down inside of Oscar's pastry and of course the Ferrari yes we can so we get the place back. This is going to be tight. This is going to be very, very tight to turn one. Oh, contact. Contact with the Ferrari. Contact with the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. We're just looking for damage. And we have got a little bit of damage. A little bit of wing damage to the left-hand side. Which is going to slow us up a little bit. But not too much. As we accelerate forward now. Still on lap four of the Grand Prix at the moment. Still in seventh place. Still got Charlie Boy Leclerc. And look at this McLaren coming up to Jack Jones of me. Look at it. Look. And we're going three wide again. Three wide. Well, the Ferrari's got DRS, as you can see. But look, and look, here we go for a move down the inside of the McLaren car. And we've done it once again. Oh, my goodness. Holding on to seventh place. Jordan and Russell is now the car ahead of us in sixth position. Charles Leclerc, it's car behind. So we accelerate for another lap five. Just going past the pits, as you can see. No change. Russell's now 11 seconds ahead of us. Charles Leclerc is about half a second behind. Up the Jack Jones. I'm sure you'll catch up though, Danny. He's very, very fast zones as we accelerate for lap nine. Our pit window is now open. And look at the car right up the Jack Jones. It's Oscar Jack Pastry once again, once again, trying to get past. But we are just managing to hold him off as we go into turn one. Very, very tight right into a very, very tight left there. But we're holding on to this seventh place as we accelerate forward now to lap nine. And as you can see, there's a car trying to get past. I think it's Oscar's pastry. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, there's Lulu. Oh, there's contact. No. Oh, wowzers me trousers. What on earth happened there? There is contact. The virtual safety cars come out. And Oscar's pastry's out of the race. Yes, the pastry has been cooked. The pastry has been cooked. He's in fact, he's been overdone. He's been, and the safety cars come out. This is a serious incident here. The safety cars come out as well. Which means, of course, we're going to come in for a pit stop. We're currently in third position. We're now going to come in for our pit stop. Yes, Perez is coming in also. And Russell, in fact, everyone's going to come in under the safety car because it makes sense to. But what on earth happened there between Oscar's pastry and Lewis Hamilton coming out of the pits? Well, we'll get to have a look at a replay uh, in a few minutes' time. But let's have a look now as we take our pit stop, of course, under the safety car. So there's no real rush. Oh, and Valtteri Bottas is at the rack and stack behind us. And I think there was a slight hold there, but as I said, under the safety car conditions, it doesn't really matter. We're going to rejoin at the moment back into seventh place, which we've had pretty much from the start of this Grand Prix. So there you go. We rejoin under the safety car. Seventh place at the moment. Still trying to catch up to the back of Carlos Sainz as we accelerate forward now. The safety car is now going to come in at the end of this lap. So this is going to be the opportunity that we need 
to try and get past a few of these cards. We've got Carlos Sainz. We've got Maxi Boy Verstappen, of course, as well. We've got Ocon now behind us. And we've got Fernando Alonso just behind Ocon. So let's see what we can do as we come round Parabolica for the 12th time in this Grand Prix. Are we going to get the jump on these cars? We never seem to be able to do it just right, but I think this time we may be able to. We're right up the Jack Jones of Carlos Sainz, of course. Single file, single file, and it's almost time to say, oh, we're right up there. Look at that, look at that. But it's not green yet, it's still yellow, and now it's green, now it's green. So it's time to say, go, 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 can we get the jump on Carlos Sainz in turn one? He's actually blocking us, he's actually blocking our place, and we can't actually sneak through, but we sneak through anyway. And we go on Mexi, and no, 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 he said, we've gone for the, oh my goodness, we've gone for the, the Mercedes. We almost get past George and the Russell as well. But anyway, oh, and the McLaren's actually got the jump on us. That is Lando Norris, and he gets the place back. But can we now get into full position and get past Norris? This is going to be the only opportunity that we've got while we're still uh, just basically uh, finished our safety car period. And yes, we've done it. We've got past Lando Norris. Up into fourth place of Accelerate for Adelaide 15. Still holds the full position at the moment. George and Russell's ahead of position now. Nine seconds ahead of behind us. We've got Carlos Sainz. In the Ferrari and the McLarens trying to get past. In fact, they're all trying to get past. I don't know how I managed to hold them off in this potato car, to be honest. It's Alfa Romeo, but I am trying to do so. And as you can see, the, the McLaren off the left hand side, he's going to have to break behind us because there's not really any space to try and get through. So we hold on against Lando Norris in four places. We accelerate for a lap 18. We've got some yellows out in the circuit. What's going on? What's going on? Something's going on. I can't quite see. Just look at the mini map. I can't see it. I think it's a car slowing down, isn't it? Is there a car slowing down? I don't know, but anyway, it says we should... No, Valtteri Bottas, our own teammate, is out of the session in the sister Alfa Romeo, and the car behind tries to use the opportunity to try and get past us, which was Maxi Boy for Stappen, of course. On lap 18, as we accelerate forward now to lap 19, it's the last lap of the race. We've now got a little bit of underside damage to the car. I think we had a little bit of contact there with... Uh, Maxi boy, but anyway, we're going to see if we can hold on to it. Lewis Hamilton has crossed the line. He's won the race. The bugger. He's won the race. We're coming down Parabolica for the final time. And we are going to finish, I think, in fourth position. Yes, come on, come on. Few more metres to go. Few more metres to go. And we cross the line in fourth place. Yes, get in there. Well, our potato didn't get mashed in that race. No. It's still very purdy. Very purdy. And drive of the day goes to the hookstone. I think I damn well bloody deserved that, to be honest, in a potato. And there are the... Uh, who is that? Is that it's, the, it's the Mercedes, of course. I keep forgetting because they keep changing from black to white and grey and red. I don't know. Anyway, there's Lulu. There's Lulu. Lulu. He's won the race. He keeps bloody winning lately, doesn't he? He's a right pain in the backside. He really is. Mercedes are on top anyway, we're going to get a shake of the wrist. Come on, Lou, Lou, Lou. Yes, we get a shake of the wrist from Lulu. Up onto the top step he goes. George and Russell, teammates there as well. And Checo, Sergio Perez, he accepts the trophy. Says, Thank you very much. Yes, look at me. Eight times world champion. <laughs> As the champagne goes over everyone. Okay, it's time to go to the replays now to see exactly what happened between Oscar's Pastry and Lewis Hamilton. So here we are then on lap 10. As you can see, Lulu's just coming out of the pits. We're sort of fighting. Oh, there's contact between Oscar's Pastry and Lulu. I don't think we had anything to do with that and as you can see no he just crashed straight into Lulu I, oh, it looks like he jumped up in the air from his own uh, front wheel in fact let's have another look again from Oscar's page yeah see we're fighting I don't think we're pushing him too much just to just to, no we're still he's still on the line he's still on the line but Lulu comes out there's nowhere to go and bam bam thank you ma'am and he jumps up in the air because the, I think the rear tyre actually uh goes up underneath I do believe or the front right tyre goes up underneath the car let's have a look and see oh there's contact and yes there it goes the front right actually jumps up behind, underneath the car which is not very realistic at all to be honest and here is Lulu coming out of the pits completely oblivious and there's the contact between him and Oscar's pastry and that's it the pastry's been cooked definitely cooked wowzers and let's have one final look now and see what happened to Valtteri Bottas our own teammate who went out on lap 18 it's an engine failure it's an engine failure for Valtteri Bottas. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And he goes straight to the back of the Husker. Wowzers. 
So not only is that, he lost some of his front wheel as well, so he would have been in serious trouble if he carried on going. But he pulls off by the Marshall Post. Wow, what a situation that was. Anyway, so there you go then. Lulu won the race and got a fastest lap. 26 points for him. But we got fourth position and we got four points. So the championship now we're in 10th place with 45 lovely points. Max Verstappen's in the lead with 313. Lewis in second place with a huge gap of 94 at 219. And George Russell's Russell's in third place. And we are six in the Constructors. So it's time to move on to the next Grand Prix. It's time for the Singapore Sling. Yes, the Singapore Sling. So, practice has been completed. Some more lovely resource points. We've now got a total of 1,371. Development boosts have been applied to the weight reduction, the DRS, and the energy store. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've had to turn the volume down for this next clip because I got uh, copyrighted by FOM last time. So here we go then at the Singapore Sling for the first run underneath the floodlights for Luxa. This is a track that Luxa's not very good at, so I don't think we're going to get any sort of pole positions out of this run. Two seconds now behind the leader at the moment in ninth place. And that was it. Unfortunately, it started to rain, so we couldn't improve in our time. So we ended up 18th position with our teammate Valtteri Bottas in 14th place. OK, then let's do this. It's the Singapore Grand Prix where Sebastian Vettel has the most wins here with five. Who will be lifting the trophy today here at the Marina Bay Circuit? Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Russell, Leclerc, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Albon, Sargent, Bottas, Ocon, Magnussen, Joe, Hollywood, Norris, and Yuki Tsunoda. And now, it's time to head down to the track. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinker. Let's talk about Hollywood. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances. So it's time once again for the five lights to go out on the seasons clear mode and we take a go and it's away we go from 18th on the grid already we got a huge start off the line we're going for Magnussen in the husk car we have to get past him as we go to turn one and we're doing a dive on Albon and almost Oscar's pastry as well but we have done all no we've actually been passed by a huge amount of cars there both the Williams but we have managed to sit behind the first one which is Logan's private and now our own teammates got past us about to be Bottas so 14 position but we're going to see if we can get past because we need bragging rights of course to be faster than our own teammates and we've done it up into 13th position unlucky for some and it's unlucky for Hookster on the first lap of the Singapore Grand Prix Logan's Privates is directly in front of us in uh, 12th place a uh, second ahead already but he's got a huge amount of traffic in front of him oh god we go for a dive on Logan's Privates and we've done it a little bit of contact there between us and uh, Logan's Privates but we have got through so we slipped up into 12th position because we just didn't want to stay in 13th place we're also looking for damage to the car and it all looks good no damage oh god then we go very very wide there though and that's given the opportunity for logan's privates to come back out as we get a wall with the corner cutting as well and uh logan tried to get past but didn't quite manage it so we are chasing a mclaren just ahead of us as you can see from this beautiful overhead shot and that is of course uh, oscar's pastry and you can see still on the first lap still on the first lap still chasing oscar but can we get past? Can we get past? Not quite sure. Logan's private still in 13th position at the moment. We're still in 12th. And Pastry, as you can clearly see, is directly ahead of us. He's got Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly directly ahead of him. And fastest lap goes to George of the Russell. As you can see, there's a car trying to get past. It is Logan's private. So we complete lap one of this Grand Prix. 
and start lap two. Fantastic. As we accelerate for now, still on lap two, as you can see, just about to start, I think, lap three now. Still in, uh, yes, the uh, DRS has been enabled. And oh my goodness, look at this. Logan's Privates once again in that Williams car trying to get back at us. Well, of course, the Williams and the Alfa Romeo, as we accelerate for lap five, are pretty evenly matched in terms of development. So we are going to be really fighting during some of these rounds between each other. But as you can see on lap six, we are still ahead as we accelerate for lap, lap eight. And as you can also see now, I don't know what's happened to Logan's Privates, but he's dropped back, I think, or maybe he's gone in for a pit stop. I'm not quite sure. But we're still in 12th place and our own teammate is now the car behind us and Oscar's pastry is now 27 seconds up the road as we accelerate forward now to lap 9, still in 12th place. Now behind us we've got Lando Norris who goes down the inside in the McLaren car of course but we managed to hang him out to dry as we always do and hold on to this 12th position. Must be getting very very close now to our pit stop cycle as we accelerate forward out to lap 10. As I say that it's now indeed time to come in for our pit stop another car behind us it's one of the alpines of course so we trundle into the pit lane underneath all the floodlights the beautiful singapore uh circuit underneath the floodlights we come in for our stop and it's another superb stop for newxter and the lads change us on to the yellow sidewall tire yes fantastic well done lads well done indeed there's a car come out directly behind us that was the alpine of sd bestie and we are going to rejoin oh god Oh god, we're going to rejoin 18th position. What on earth happened there? Did we get held up somehow in the pit stop cycle? I'm not quite sure, but anyway, we're going to rejoin the field now in, uh, I think it's 18th position. Yes, it is. No, it's 19th place behind Lando Norris. Now, I'm hoping that some cars had some different strategies as we accelerate for that lap 11, just going past the pits. And thankfully, the other car is coming in. So, our teammate, Battery Bottas. So, we're going to gain one position up into 18th position, but. Uh, Yes, I, I think we fundamentally lost a lot of time in the pit stop cycle. We really have, really have, as we accelerate for that lap 12. Just going past the pits again. One more car in. It is Grand New Joe in, of course, the Alpha Tori car. So we go past Grand New Joe and run at the 17th position. But this is very, very disappointing indeed. Very disappointing. Norris is seven seconds ahead of us. What on earth happened there? Anyway, we accelerate for that lap 13. Oh no! No, it's hero to zero time. He won the last Grand Prix, but in this one at Singapore, Sir Lewis Hamilton of Hamilton Lancelot Camelotville has actually retired from the Grand Prix. Yes, he is out. No more for Lulu. As we accelerate for now. We're just going to go past Lewis Hamilton. I think he was just off to the right hand side there, as you can see. So we have made up one position. And in fact, Yuki Sonoda's coming to the pits as well. So we've made up two places there one from Lewis Hamilton going out, and one for Yuki making a pit stop. Up to 15th position now, but still outside of the points. As we accelerate for the lap 16, just going past the pits again. But I think that's it, everyone. There's no more cars coming in for their pit stops. So it looks like 15th position is the best we're going to get. And this Grand Prix, as I say, we weren't expecting to even get into the points, to be honest. So we're on lap 19, still in 15th place. We've got uh, Ocon behind us now, just right up the Jack Jones. And Logan's Private somehow has managed to best us completely. And he's now almost 15 seconds ahead of us on lap 20, with just a few more laps to go. This is unbelievable scenes. In fact, you can almost say this is biblical scenes. As we accelerate forward now to lap 22, it's the last lap of the race. And Charlie Boy Leclerc has won the race. We're going to finish in 15th place. Pretty disappointing, but we are ahead of our own teammate, Valtteri Bottas, which is always great news as we're coming around the corner now and cross the line. Wowzers. Well, we lost hugely in the pit stop cycle. We really did. We were in like 12th position, I think, at one place. Drive of the day, though, goes to Lando Norris. Lando, we love you. And there are the Ferrari mechanics congratulating themselves. They'll all be in the hot tub later. Yes, lots of soapy bubbles. Oh, those soapy, soapy bubbles. I'm just, I'm just, anyway, there's Charles Leclerc, the race winner, everyone. There he is. Yes, bonjour. Bonjour, Charles, as he crowd serves into his own team. Yes. Hopefully they don't drop him. Otherwise, that'll be embarrassing. Very embarrassing indeed. And there is the gorgeous... Singapore circuit and yes we get a shake at the wristy from Charlie Boy Leclerc well done Charles well done indeed and he goes look look at me look at me I'm awesome bloody awesome and he really is because he's won the race but I think Lulu would have been up there if he hadn't have had some kind of problem which we'll have a look at in a moment as he's about to hold up the trophy and say I've done it lads I've done it 
And there's a teammate. Oh, there's a lady. There's a lady as the champagne goes off everyone. La 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 but there you go, his engine has failed. It could have been two wins on the trot for Lulu, but sadly it wasn't to be because his Mercedes engine said, nope, I'm out of here. So there you go then, Charlie Boy Leclerc won the race, 25 points, George Russell got fastest lap, and we ended up in 15th place, but as I say, still ahead of our own teammate, Valtteri Bottas. Let's go to the standings now and see where we are, because we've gained... No positions during this Grand Prix, but Maxi Boy is now on 3 2 3, 104 points ahead of Lulu. George in third, we're in 10th still with those 45 lovely, gorgeous points of ours. Lovely, gorgeous points. And our teammates in 18th place, and he hasn't scored a single point because he's such a loser. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. You have been awesome as always, and yes, of course, there will, of course, be more later. <laughs>